Hey there, crazy kids. I am the good old gamer, and we're back to playing more Minecraft official release on the Fool's House server competition world anniversary. So let's see, what are we going to do today? First thing we're going to do is get rid of a bunch of random stuff. I'll just... Whoa! Random game lag for the loss. Do 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 do. I need to do some more fishing too. Well, I know one thing we're going to do today. That's fishing. Fishing for the loss. I must have been wanting to uh, work with the netherrack here. Can't imagine why the hell that's in the inventory. Whoa, lag city. Be right back and restart fraps. Okay, I'm back, hopefully. Not really, but whatever. Anyways. Wow, I really don't know what's up with this lag. Hmm. This is not good. I wonder if I can... Can I reach up enough to put blocks up? Oh, I can. Good. It'll be a little easier... Little... To, uh... Work on the ceiling from below, maybe. Maybe not. Okay, well clearly this isn't working out nearly as well as I'd hoped. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, do something to fix the lag and I'll be back in a bit. Already I'm back. Hopefully better. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, game, I don't know what your problem is. You were fine yesterday or the day before when I played this. So stop it. Anyways. Guess what I'm going to do here is uh, work on the ceiling. I know it's kind of boring work, busy work, but uh, it needs to be done. So I may as well be getting to it. Let's go see if I can do this any faster from up top. I don't know if I can or not. Not really. You 
stop it with the double spamming of the blocks game. Wow, lag. Well, welcome to the lag-filled episode. I'm sure you are as pleased about it as I am. Ow. That was not helpful in the slightest. And I guess it is a little faster just to uh, do this. Actually, you know what? We'll go from one boring activity to another. Let's go do some fishing! I'm gonna need to make a new fishing bow... pole. Did I say bow? I meant pole. But, um... This one's getting pretty worn down. So anyways, don't know really what to talk about, so I apologize if my commentary is lacking. I've had comments in the past few videos saying I should talk more. But there's only so much you can talk about this game, especially after you've played it and made videos on it as much as I have. Come on. Hopefully we can get the uh, design done that I want for that building. Otherwise it's just going to be the building and it's not going to be the snowman statue. That would kind of suck for my entry into the competition. It's still going to suck whatever I, <laughs> whatever I do. My designs, just because I don't have enough time and skill, it's going to suck. But it's alright, I didn't enter the competition to win. I entered it just to enter it, just for the fun of it. It'd be nice to win, but I'm fairly certain I'm not going to. Come on, give me a fish. It takes entirely way too long to fish in this game. Oh, come on. Well, we got five fish, plus one we have in there, so that's six. And another fishing pole. I should include an indoor fishing spot so we're not interrupted by nighttime. Just for the funsies. Dooby dooby doo. Dooby dooby doo. Come on already. I remember when fishing poles first came out, everybody was hooking animals and stuff to them. That was pretty fun. Don't know if you can still do that or not. Oh, whatever. We got eight. That's good enough for now. Go 
ahead and sleep. And we'll continue working on the ceiling, I suppose. Oh, before I do that, there's one thing I wanted to do here. And unfortunately, I don't think I have materials here, so I'm going to have to go over here. I want to make two stone um, pressure plates and four wooden ones. And I'll let you try and figure out why. Uh... Oh, that's only going to make one. That's lame. Oops. Got it figured out yet? No? It's going to be for the doors. So much easier that way. Anyway, since I only have one stone pressure plate, I'm going to have to go over here. And I guess for now, I'll just put this down here. What else is it opening? I hear it clicking something else. Do you hear that, guys? Is that just the one door? Must be. The reason that I wanted the stone pressure plate in here is obviously because it camouflages a little bit to the uh, floor. I'd like one over here, but that'll have to wait until we have some more stone. Anyways, let's come back here. Continue working on our lovely project. The lag seems to be letting off a little bit, which is nice. Probably need to defrag my computer or something just as ridiculous, but whatevs. Again, I apologize that I'm not the fastest builder around. Hope you guys don't mind too much. If you do, oh well, there's really very little I can do to change that. If I go any faster, I end up doing stupid mistakes like this that I have to correct all the time. See? And then the mistakes make me take even longer. So then what's the point? There is no point. There is only the relaxing music of Minecraft. Ta-da! I wouldn't even really need the ceiling up here, or at least the entire thing, except I don't want I don't want it to snow inside here anymore now that I, now that I have the floor and stuff in, so... 
had to put a ceiling in of some kind, and another rack is quick and easy to get. And it's a bit distinctive for the regular Minecraft world, so... That's why we're using it. In case you're wondering why I'm going around all the edges, is to try and keep it even. Especially if I decide to just stop building the ceiling for any number of reasons. It'll at least stay somewhat even, hopefully. Whoops. Not if I do this out of order. Come on, game. Stop it. Don't have too much left to do with this, which is a bonus. Looks like I'm going to have to get some more netherrack, and I don't suppose I have any. No, I don't. Well, this iron pick's about full. It should do. Should have plenty of netherrack by the time I use this up. Probably only need a couple stacks at the most. I'm sure you guys missed this, didn't you? <laughs> Is this making you dizzy? It's kind of making me dizzy. Pretty quick, efficient way to mine, though. And we now have two stacks, but I'm just going to keep going to the pick breaks because it's not going to take very long.
Alrighty. Done and done. Now I can go home and eat some fish. Before I die of starvation. Or get close to dying. Hey, we managed to get here before night fell. Barely. There we go, that should last for a little while. Now I need to make another pick. Another, 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 another pick. Got so much iron. So much iron, it's not even funny. Why did I make another iron pick? I had one right there. Oh my god, I'm dumb. I am so retarded. How could I be that stupid? I had one right there. Ah. Oh well. Doesn't really matter in the end. I'll probably need another one anyway. Before too long. The way I go through picks these days. It's kind of another reason why I like just exploring and not really doing a lot of building because you don't go through a lot of tools if you're just exploring or at least doesn't seem like it anyway another reason that I'm putting the ceiling in here is when I get to designing the uh, snowman on top should I ever fall while I'm building I don't want to fall all the way down to the bottom I want to save a few blocks of height so hopefully I don't really die or hurt myself too much in whatever I'm doing Wow, I'm down to a stack of netherrack already. I might have to make another trip in the nether, me and my poor estimations. Stop with the double blocks. Useless game.
Ah, done with that job, finally. Now we can get rid of the snow. Really? Really, game? Your pathetic attempts to thwart my empire will not stop me. Alrighty. For the time being, I think I'll put a torch in these areas here. Kind of keep them lit up a bit. Hopefully keep enemies from spawning willy-nilly in here. Actually, don't mind if it snows up here because I'm just gonna be making my snowman or whatever up here anyway, so it doesn't matter. But let's see. Oh, I'm gonna get uh, John Pavlo's trick up and running. In order to do that, I'm going to need some. Snow blocks, some fences, and a pumpkin. Only need one pumpkin for this, apparently. So, one pumpkin. We'll save the rest of them for seeds for a potential farm if I ever get around to making one. Seeing as how I only have six or seven days left of this competition, though, that's highly unlikely. So up here, pretty much anywhere up here I really want to, I can uh, put down this and just for the funsies. I'll do this. You don't really need to do this, I would imagine. But I'm going to anyway. Because that's how I've seen it done. So this is the trick that, that uh, John Pavlo taught me. Trap a golem in this. Of course, you put those down there, and you put a block on top. Makes yourself a handy little snow golem. Hey, buddy, how's it going? And then, apparently, you can take your shovel and collect the snow from directly underneath, and he doesn't have to move or anything. He, he'll just constantly have snow there, so let's try this. Hey, it works! Fantastic! So this is apparently a super fast way of gathering snow, quick and easy, because you can just keep, keep doing this. So if anybody's been wanting to know how to get snow quick and easy, that's how. There you go! Oh wow, there's even more snow back here that I didn't collect already. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. 
So having this collection of snow right here will allow me to obviously make my snowman that much faster because I'm going to be using it out of snow blocks. So, And don't worry, uh, the snow golem down or up there is not uh, forever indentured as a slave to that. Uh, once I have built the giant snowman, I will set him free to roam around the giant snowman with a few of his buddies, kind of like they're worshipping the snowman. I was going to make a giant golem with a pumpkin head, just like him, but um, I'm not going to be able to grow enough pumpkins in time for that. So we'll have to make do with what we can with a regular snowman. Because as you can imagine, that would take quite a few pumpkins. Put all this snow away. All right, let's get back home, and uh, we're going to need more cobble in order to get stone bricks in order to uh, continue with the building, making more stairs and whatnot, so I guess I'll sleep even though I don't really particularly need to sleep. And uh, because you guys suffered through the building process for a while, I'll go ahead and uh, put some of this stuff up for now. And we will go caving, or, well, exploring the... Uh, the abandoned mine some more. I'll just wait till my armor runs out before I make any new armor. Alright, let's go explore the abandoned mine. And we have another slime somewhere. Ooh, a giant. A couple giants. Big guys. Oh, come on. Oh, good, I do have another sword. And we got 15 slime balls already. That was quick and easy. Um. Oh, man, I didn't bring any dirt with me. That was stupid. Well, I guess I'll have to get this. Dirt is so useful when caving. So very useful. Let's just do this. Oh, it's not going to go out. That's lame.
I didn't mean to put two torches there, but if I take one down, I'm not going to be able to get back easy, so... supposed to do that. Dang it. That's what I was hoping to avoid. Ugh. I really don't want to be around here. This ravine kind of sucks. I'm not a big fan. You know what, just for the funsies, let's go this way. See what's over here. Whole lot of nothing looks like. I could use the cobble though, so let's get some cobble. Don't worry, I'm not going to do some straight up cobble mining here. Just want to get some of this easy to get stuff while it's right here. Make it both clean up the little hallway here and just get some general cobble. And iron, apparently. Okay. I hear you splashing around. Don't know where you are, but I hear you. Lapis! Not that I really need it, but it's lapis. Are you down here? No, you can't be down here, because that's where I just was. Maybe you are. Yep, you are. Never mind. So wait, I can just dig through and get there then, right? Seems like I could.
Gotcha. Torches, I need more torches, and I didn't bring enough wood, but fortunately we're in an abandoned mine, so wood's not exactly a rare resource, and I'm talking to myself, but who cares, that's why you're watching. By the way, in case I forgot to mention it, and I probably did with all the lag issues earlier, but uh, this is going to be... This recording session, however long it is, is going to be a single video. In case you haven't guessed by the length of the video. <laughs> I don't know how long it's going to be. I generally don't keep track of these recording sessions. But since it's the holiday season, I figured I'd give you guys a holiday gift by uh, giving you guys an entire recording session in a single video. So it may be anywhere between half an hour to an hour long. Maybe even longer, maybe even an hour and a half, I don't know. Like I said, I don't really keep any sort of time on these videos, or these recording sessions, so it'll be what it'll be. Hope you guys enjoy. I'm sure most of you crazy Minecraft fans out there can't get enough, so there you go. And if it's too long, I apologize, but um, easy thing to do would be to keep track of where you stop watching the video, write it down somewhere, the minutes and stuff, and then come back to it when you can. I'm not going to go after all that coal, I'm just going to go after the really easy stuff. kind of wish the next update for the game would get out already, because that's going to make it... Uh, so that uh, sheep regrow their wool. That will prove very useful. Not necessarily to me, since I don't really use wool all that much anyway. But um, it'll just make them useful. And there's also some other updates coming through the game that I would like. Like, um, there's supposed to be a chance for tree leaves to drop apples now which would be cool. Some people have said they shouldn't do that, but 